September 13th, 2014. Cyclone comeback. After trailing 14 to three at the half, Iowa State rallies for 17 second half points. The final three coming with two seconds left off the foot of Cole Netton. 42 yard game winning field goal. Celebration ensues. 20 to 17, Iowa State wins. The Cyhawk Trophy returns to Ames. It's RV TV. It's game here. day in Rockwell it's City. Rockwell City. Scott Scotcha Rose. Scotcha Rose. <laughs> Scotcha Rose. Thank you. Who doesn't love a Scotcha Rose? That's fantastic. Believe it or not, that 2014 game is the last time Iowa State beat Iowa in football. It's been five straight for Iowa, and of course, no game last year. The Hawkeyes are underdogs at the number nine Cyclones in what is the first college football game in Ames with two top 10 teams. Alongside Andy Fails, I'm Keith Murphy, and of course, Andy, Rockwell City is a close-knit community. You've seen that. It, it, right, right. They show up for RVTV, and they show up for the Cyhawk rivalry. We've seen a lot of it all day long. There are good people here who always find a way to support each other, and Mark Freund has a heartwarming story of a family keeping a legacy alive. J.C. McAlexander was a vibrant, considerate kid. He had a big heart and um, very caring, very um, always was thinking about somebody else. Which is why his fight was so unfair. He was diagnosed in April of his second grade year in 2009. He was diagnosed with Ewing sarcoma. Ewing sarcoma is a cancer that uh, attaches itself to long bones in the body. His was on his ribs. Nine months of chemo led to six years of good health until JC's freshman year at South Central Calhoun. And the cancer was in the exact same place. He would fight and we would get the cancer gone where it was and then it would jump ahead somewhere else. JC couldn't keep up. We lost him on a Wednesday morning. He died May of 2018, right before his junior year ended. It's the worst thing ever. It, I, I feel hollow. I feel empty and hollow. We sometimes feel guilty for, for being here still. But JC was still there too. The following football season, his South Central Calhoun teammates carried his jersey to center field before each game. We got to the quarterfinals. We played uh, West Sioux in Lake City. Good game. West Sioux finished up uh, winning the game. The Titans couldn't continue honoring JC, so West Sioux did it for them. It was the AD. He asked if uh, their team, the West Sioux team, could carry JC's jersey out for the championship game. It was just one of those things that make, gives you a whole new respect for, for the nice things people do. Nowadays, Earl and Carrie McAlexander spend time on the patio they built in JC's honor and they continue J.C.'s favorite cause, collecting pop tabs for the Ronald McDonald House, where J.C. frequently stayed while he was sick. The last thing I said to him that last morning was, I will live every day to try to make you proud. And this is what he would have wanted. He would hope that you would live a long, long life and that one or two people would say, well, that person will make an impact on our community, on their world. People say that all the time that when we talk about JC. Which is why JC Strong lives on. He was not here a long time, but he did a lot when he was here. In Rockwell City, Mark Freund, WHO 13 Sports. <laughs> what a beautiful story and the, 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 the pop tabs are a big thing here as the family's very much a part of this RV TV Cyhawk Street Party today. Yeah, they were kind of set up uh, right out in front yeah. of our, our station here over uh, on the main square. Oh, nice Rockwell people. City. This is a perfect setup for RV TV. They really know how to do it here. The town square uh, just had something going on all day. It was, uh, it was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. John Sears, John Sears has more. John Sears has more. You're not supposed to eat. On, don't eat on camp.
last year everybody was shut in yep. and we couldn't enjoy this and tonight everybody came together, everybody's had fun. Yep. I got bet with my teacher. If Iowa State wins, I got a free A. An A? If An they A. Win? I mean the wife Cyclone, oh, all my no. family is. I'm oh, the only no. Iowa fan and all these guys <laughs> Cyclones. You're I mean, the lone Hawkeye. But it's okay, you know, they want to be like the big brother. There are a lot of Hawkeye fans here, is no, that okay? No, 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 no. no. <laughs> Fun's not over, and Ed gets to have the most fun when we come back. Once again, Ed will light up the night. Back just, to you. I'm just jealous about the scotcheroos. Is that for Andy? We don't. Andy know said it's fantastic. He. <laughs> it's the size of your head. It's just gluttonous. We just don't you know guys if it's are just gluttonous. Breakfast or a midnight <laughs> snack for him. <laughs> All right, thanks you guys. We'll be right back after this.